Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and welcome to my step-by-step -step guide for the Sisters of Parvos or the Corpus Liches. Let's get into it. First up, the prerequisites. Ensure you've completed the Call of the Tempestary quest and the Deadlock Protocol quest before proceeding. Ensure you have a bunch of Requiem mods farmed up to hasten the process. You can farm these by farming Requiem relics from Kuba Siphon missions. Next thing you'll need are Zenith Granum Crowns. These drop from Corpus ship Talset nodes on Neptune and Pluto. Hydra on Pluto is recommended for this. Head into the mission, complete the objective and wait for the Corpus Treasurer to spawn within 2 to 4 minutes. Kill him and he'll drop a Zenith Granum Crown. Next, head back into any Corpus ship Talset node and once you're in, look for the Golden Hand and offer the Zenith Grenum Crown to it. You'll access the Nightmare Grenum Void. Now you'll need to reach rank 1 in the Grenum Void, which is at 25 kills. It should be relatively straightforward regardless of the Warframe you use. If you intend to reach rank 3 for the drops, then usage of the Zoris or Mesa, Octavia or Revenant is highly recommended. Once you reach at least rank 1 and leave the Grenum Void, a sister's candidate spawns within the mission. Find the candidate and down them. You'll be able to see the weapon the sister will eventually drop. If you want to proceed, mercy kill the candidate. This will spawn a sister. A quick reminder here, similar to Kuva Liches, the Warframe you use to mercy kill the candidate or the Progenitor Warframe will decide the elemental bonus of the weapon's damage as well as the colour of the sister's ephemera. Choose carefully. Once you head back to your orbiter, you'll be greeted by the sister. You'll be able to view her attributes including weaknesses and resistances as well as her pet hound by opening up the sister's display screen on the bottom right of your star chart. The sister will then start to reign over the star chart via her hounds. The hounds will wait within the influence nodes highlighted in a light blue hue. Mercy killing the hounds drops a good amount of murmurs to progress towards revealing one of three requiem mods you'll need to defeat the sister. Mercy killing hounds can reward you with requiem relics. Continue to farm murmurs by playing through the sister's controlled nodes and killing her hounds. Unlike Kuva Liches, the sisters will only steal your end of mission credit rewards instead of resource rewards. You'll be able to reclaim all these credits once you defeat the sister. Once you've gathered enough murmurs, the Requiem Murmur icon will start to blink, indicating you've uncovered a Requiem mod. Complete the mission you're currently on, and once you get back to your orbiter, you'll find out what the revealed mod is. Equip it in your Parazon. Killing her hounds will make the sister angry, as can be seen via her anger meter. The angrier she is, the more likely she is to appear in one of your missions. Once she is angry enough, she'll appear in a mission, allowing you to stab her with your Parazon. If your first revealed mod in the first slot is in the right slot, her first bar of health will be depleted, allowing you to stab her again to try the Requiem mod in the second slot. Once you stab her with the Requiem mod in the wrong slot, she will flee leveling up in the process and resetting her anger meter. She will also provide you with lots of murmurs that'll put you close to revealing another Requiem mod. Keep repeating this process to uncover all three Requiem mods. Make sure to equip them in your Parazon. Once you uncover all three Requiem mods, Make sure to equip them in your Parazon in order and then continue to complete missions on Sister's controlled nodes to make her even angrier so that she appears and you can stab her three times. Once the Sister spawns again, all you need to do is repeat the same fight, stab her three times and this time she will flee to the Neptune Proxima, to her capital ship, where there'll be one last final battle. 
you'll need your piloting intrinsic to be at least level 5 to participate in this final battle. So head to the Neptune Proxima with your Railjack and the final mission begins with two Railjack objectives. Complete the objectives either solo or in a team and gain access to the sister's ship. Board her ship where you'll be met by another hound and her spectres, which can be quite tough to take down. Focus on clearing the spectres and the hound, and once they're down, you can focus your firepower on the sister herself. At this point, you can choose to convert or vanquish your sister. Converting will earn back all stolen credits and allows her to randomly join you in missions as an ally as well as makes her eligible to be a Railjack crew member for you. Vanquishing her earns back all stolen credits as well but grants you her weapon and an ephemera instead if she has one. If you choose to vanquish the sister, once you head back to your orbiter, you'll receive the weapon, the ephemera if any, and her hound as well. All of these will be in your foundry to collect. And that's about it. Of course, if you have hunted down Kuva Liches before, the Sisters of Parvos process may not be that new, but this was of course targeted at newer players. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to help out. One last thing, remember a Kuva Lich and a Sister of Parvos cannot coexist together, so if you have an active Kuva Lich, you'll have to take him down first before you attempt to take down a sister of Parvos. With that, I hope this helped you out. This is the Faceless Beanie signing out.